Have you ever bought an aircraft, especially one with an external staircase like the ones on AirAsia in Malaysia and realized that there's a very loud noise like this and the engines have not even been started? Well, that my friends is the sound of the APU or the auxiliary power unit. A lot of interesting facts, so let's get started. Well, 2945, we need to stay on the runway. We got somebody in the restroom and you don't know when they're gonna come out. Stand by. A very good welcome to an aviation geek. And as usual, I hope you're doing absolutely incredible. All large commercial aircrafts have an auxiliary power unit on board, usually located at the tail of the aircraft. Although some regional jets went to the site, this is a small turbine engine, essentially the same design and operation as the main aircraft engines, but on a smaller scale. However, unlike the main engines, the APU does not provide thrust, hence it would be wrong to call it a jet engine. Instead, it powers an electric generator and provides air pressure. The first and most straightforward use of the APU is to provide power when on the ground to the aircraft. It can be run when the engines are shut down and when boarding before the engines are started. The APU will run a generator that provides electrical power for the cockpit and cabin systems. This is essential because you need electrical power for the lights and for the crew while they're on the ground. It will produce pneumatic pressure to operate the cabin air conditioning systems. The other main functions of the APU is to start the main engines. As with ground power, this could be achieved using a ground-based supply, which I'll come to it later. Starting the APU is a simple procedure. The APU may be started with a DC, direct current, from the batteries or with the AC, alternate current. The APU panel is located at the bottom center of the overhead panel on the A320, and external APU controls are located on the external power panel in the nose gear bay, which is uh, accessible to the ground crew. To start the APU, first, you gotta press the master switch button, then the start button. The start sequence begins when the APU inlet flap is fully open. Power from a battery will start the engine motor spinning, and when the fuel is added, the engine starts quickly. The APU's control is completely automatic. Auto shutdown is available whenever the APU is running. Automatic deployment of the APU extinguisher is also available on the ground. An APU emergency shutdown is initiated by pressing the APU fire button or pressing the APU shut off button on the external panel. An APU fire in flight will show the APU fire procedure on the ECAMs on the Airbus, followed by the APU emerge shutdown procedure. On the ground, a fire will cause the APU auto shutdown procedure to be shown after the APU fire procedure. Just as the APU is started using the battery power to turn the blades, the blades of the main engines must also be turned before they can be started. This is achieved using the bleed air, essentially high pressure exhaust from the APU turbine. A bleed air is compressed air taken from the compressor stage of a gas turbine upstream of its fuel burning sections. We'll look at that in future videos. This will generate sufficient airflow through the main engine to allow the fuel and air mixture to be ignited and start the engine. Pressure then builds up to further spin the engine and once it reaches its idle power speed, the supply from the APU is removed, the other engines are then started using either the APU or high pressure air from the already started engine. This is known as a cross bleed and is also a technique used for restarting a failed engine. Also, most of you right now watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. It's free and a sub to the channel would be empowering. However, a GPU or a ground power unit can also be connected to the aircraft in the event of a failure of the APU on board the aircraft. Or if the pilot just decides not to use it for two reasons, firstly, because it generates quite a lot of noise, which becomes a source of inconvenience for the ground staff. Second, it is a jet engine that produces power by burning a lot of fuel that has an associated cost impact as well as produces carbon dioxide emissions. For example, an APU on an Airbus A320 burns about 160 liters of fuel per hour. So it can be pretty thirsty. Regulatory bodies in aviation have a very proactive approach to both occupational health and safety as well as environmental preservations. 
Noise produced by the APU goes against the form factor, while carbon dioxide emissions go against the latter. Therefore, using an APU is discouraged, and availability of a 400Hz aircraft ground power unit is encouraged, and sometimes made mandatory in airports. So this was a basic introduction to the APU and GPU to explain its main purpose. I'll make a more detailed video in the future regarding the APU and engine start sequences. Until next time, positive rate, Gear up.